Hello everyone, thank you for um, coming back to my channel. Today we're going to continue with the series of knitting socks and this is part number three. Uh, previously I showed you how to knit the, the heel flap which um, we learned um, the eye of partridge that was the stitch that, that I used for the, the back of the heel for the heel flap and it looks a bit like um, a one by one rib it, but it's a much denser uh, stitch so it's thicker the it, it uses more yarn but it's thicker so um, just to end the eye of partridge because we always want to um, turn the heel starting the wrong side of the work what what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna knit row number 21 knitting all stitches to the end of this row so we get to start uh, um, the turning of the heel on the wrong side of our work so the first thing we're gonna do um, we're gonna purl 12 stitches so the first row in turning the heel we purl 12 stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and now uh, we're gonna purl two stitches together so we purl two stitches together and then we purl another one and this is it we're not going to continue with the other stitches we're just going to turn our work and we're going to work on the right side with knitting now um, so the first thing we're going to slip the first stitch as if to purl um, we slip it through the front of our work and then we're going to knit five stitches one two three four five then we're gonna knit two stitches together and we're gonna knit another stitch and this is our other row so we finished turn the work on the wrong side so we're gonna do purling now first stitch we're gonna slip so slip the first stitch and then purl I think we we're supposed to purl six uh, but I'll show you a trick. So we're gonna purl until the stitch before the gap. So you see there's a gap there. So now we're gonna purl the two stitches together on both sides of the gap. Then we're gonna purl another one and and we turn the work again. Now we're gonna do knitting stitches. So we slip the first stitch as if to purl. Then we're gonna knit one two I think there's seven three four five six seven and we have the gap again so we're gonna knit the two stitches together on either side of the gap then we're gonna knit another stitch and we turn our work and we keep doing this until we are left with 12 stitches um, you'll see here I'm gonna Pull together the ones by the gap on either side of the gap turn the work knit all the way to the end there's the gap again purl again all the way to the end and now this is our last row um, slip one stitch two three four five Seven, oh, sorry about that. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then we're gonna have the gap again, and we're gonna knit those two stitches together, and we have twelve stitches left, and this is it. As you can see here, we change the direction of our work. We're not going upwards. We're we turn ninety degrees angle, and uh, this is the turning of the heel. So thank you very much for watching, um, subscribe and um, we'll see you in the next one when we're going to learn how to shape the gusset.